Hello, would you like to apply for a youth exchange or a training course from Erasmus Plus program? Here are some simple steps that you can follow that will help you to apply and understand the process better. But before, let's talk about the differences between both programs. Let's start with youth exchange. That is for participants from 13 to 30 years old. It lasts from 5 to 21 days. Youth exchange focuses on values like friendship, democracy, and solidarity. During the program, there are some workshops and discussions about topics such as sports, human rights, and also environment. The purpose is to develop competences and the outdoor activities are a priority. On the other hand, we have the training courses that are designed for youth workers or youth leaders from 18 and with no upper limits in the age. It lasts from 5 to 10 days. The training course focuses on specific topics like developing your skills, your knowledge, and also it's meant to bring out some output. The main aim is professional improvement. But what about the similarities between the both programs? They are non-formal education, and also the aim to spread multicultural diversity. The benefits of these programs are making new friends, the intercultural learning, start thinking outside of the box and get knowledge and experience. The application for both is the same. The first step is to search for a local NGO. You can use Facebook groups, websites of NGOs, and of course ask your friends that have already participated in youth mobility projects. Become a member, because this way you will receive updates about new projects and of course make new connections. Also, it's more likely that they will select you because in the first place NGOs search for participants among their members. Let's go to the second step. Find a project according to your needs, experience, motivation and expectations. There is a large number and variety of projects with different topics. Search together with your local NGO for one that suits you. And the third step, where you complete the application form for the project. The NGO may require also your CV that may include other projects in which you've already participated, plus the level of your experience in international projects. Specify also your level of English. Usually you need to write a motivation letter. The fourth step is the approval. You are going to receive info pack. Read it carefully. Pay attention to the information about transportation. Your NGO is going to help you searching the cheapest flight tickets to support you. Ask the organizers for the ticket approval so that you can buy them after that. Be aware of the fact that in the most of the youth mobility projects, you need to pay participation fee, even though it's a small amount. In most of the cases, you bring something from your country for a cultural evening during the youth mobility project. When you present your country with traditional food, costumes, music, dances, there is a possibility that before your departure, the NGO organizes an intercultural shock training to prepare you for the new experience abroad. The last step is to participate actively during the project. 
When you come back home, you will have to prepare a report for the NGO. So, do you want to be part of these youth mobility programs? Follow the steps!